That's a tough one. Off the initial path I go. Wear those? Okay, we got rocket boots. Or something. With this addition, the suit felt at least twenty percent cooler. I don't know how to describe the feeling of bursting through the air like a bullet so fast that my eyes watered and my belly was full of butterflies, never fully in control but still feeling like the coolest kid in the universe. <laughs> I guess I just described it, didn't I? yourself far enough so you can do it. I'd love to do stuff like this with crystals. Just think of the possibilities. Whole machines are powered by them. I almost can't believe it. Okay. 
Let's see what we can do here. Um, up here? I don't think so. Um, hello? seen any people around yet, but ahead of us lay what looked like a proper town. The strays from Maddie's stories. I could imagine how she must have longed to meet them all her life. And now, here they were. I want oh, to greet these people myself. Let me off. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Maddie from the village, and this is my friend. He's looking for Fred. Amazing! I've never seen anyone from inside the caves before. My name is Arvin. This is Ingo, and that's Tamiya. Welcome to Star Haven, lads. So, Are you looking at what's it like in the village? Village is okay, but not like this place. We don't have machines and crystals. We're forbidden from using them. Truly. The crystals are our main source of power. The life in the village must be primitive. Or, should I say, simple. Yeah, well, it's not so bad. I've actually made some secret experiments on crystals myself, like this lamp. You made that? Awesome. I couldn't do that even if someone told me how. And with no prior knowledge of how to use them, you are a gifted young lady. I believe we shall find many things to talk about. Actually, I don't know if I can stay that long. Me and my friend are looking for Fred. Have you seen him? Sure. The old man passed through here a few days ago. We taught him how to harness crystal energy. He was headed down to the core of the mountains. You'd have to pass through the ice cave to get there, though. So I ain't following. There is a zeppelin headed for the ice cave. It docks a short distance from here. Just follow the path towards the mountain, and you won't miss it. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Bye, you guys. Bye. Good far. It's a weird way to walk or run or whatever. Hey! Hey! 
Those people were so nice. They didn't think we were strange at all, though we came all the way from the village. They were helpful, and they were impressed by something I had done. <sighs> I wish more people in the village were like that. Last time I Made it somewhere? No. It's like an uncontrollable thing. Where we're we going. I am like confused as hell. Like, what are we doing here? Jesus! Don't shut the thing! Am I get it? Am I get it? Am I get it? Is that a. Oh, there we Save ever. That was the most epic save you will ever see. Like, oh my god. How Maddie did I even say that? was silent for a while. It seemed like she was thinking hard on something. Mm -hmm. So now I guess we're going towards this case, which is this thingy. Oh boy, here we go. I couldn't reach it. Oh, 
board. Good day. Here's a boat to Ice King. Though I'd take the other one if I were you. That one goes back to the outpost. Um, I, um, wait a minute. I was thinking. I, I don't know if I should go with you. I mean, I want to, but I also want to, well, stay here. Maybe it's strange, but I just feel like these people liked me and accepted me for who I am. Kind of like you. I want to be with you too, and help you find Fred. I don't know what I want the most. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. I just never thought about it until now that maybe... Maybe it wasn't Fred I was looking for when I came with you. Maybe I was just looking for a way out. Somewhere to be free. And I know that if anyone can find Fred, it's you. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promised. Thank you. I'm glad I met you. And it won't be the same without you around. Goodbye, friend. I said goodbye to Maddie, and I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. But even in this sad moment, I was happy for her. She had found a place where she belonged. Right, so we're leaving her behind. There was a dampness in the air that reminded me of the hot summer nights back home. But as the sun was setting, I could feel the chill creeping up on me, and the path we were traveling on seemed to lead us into a second ice age. Winter was coming. Winter was coming. Now we're just going to ask you. into the caves again and now yep. it was just me alone in these cold barren halls of ice but Fred had been here and now I could feel it I was getting close something wasn't right the grapple device's energy beam was somehow reflected off of the ice and I couldn't get a grip I had to look for areas where the ice was not so thick this was going to be a challenge. drained the crystal, I suddenly felt the earth starting to move beneath my feet, and my mind wandered back to how the strays might have used the crystals as a source of power to keep their cities afloat. I decided it was best to hurry back the way I came before this whole room came apart. You're saying I have to run? Out of here. Yeah. 